Welcome to a house of cars. We're a classic car auction site, and today we spent the day here at Vintage Motorsports with Hassan Mogadan. Let me show you a little bit of what we did. The way I look at it, before I buy any car, I buy a book first on that car. Thank you for inviting me to your beautiful garage. So let's talk about Ferraris, huh? It all started uh, about uh, 10 years ago. I went to this car show at uh, Cavallino at uh, the Breakers. I was like, so impressed by, by the actual community and the people there. And we started meeting, talking to people. And I actually started reading about cars. And the first Ferrari I ever bought was a 246 Dino Chairs and Flares. It was silver on red. And I just fell in love with that car. And it was like my entry into connecting with the brand. And I really got to learn a lot about the history of the cars, and then I got it Classic certified, which kind of brought me one step closer to the factory, and I kind of learned the ins and outs. And then I bought it for you know a certain amount, and then it sold for a lot more. I'm like, wait a minute, there's something in this. So I started saying, well, you know, it's not just that these cars are amazing, but they're actually can be an actual investment vehicle. And I've been looking for an F40 for about 10 years. 10 years, and the problem with F40s is you probably know better than I do. They've been raced, they've been crashed, they've been repainted. Uh, all kinds of modifications, there's a lot of Japanese cars out there, so I wanted a US spec car, um, and so they're a little bit more unique. And I also wanted a perfect car, and for me a perfect car is, it has to have the luggage. The luggage is ordered brand new with the owner, and what happened is when you, when you look at this, to, to prove that it's the owner actually ordered this car new and is the one that's in this warranty book, you'll actually see his name written here. Oh Richard yeah. Stanley. So this nice. warranty card matches the actual luggage, which proves to you that it is the right person. And so that to me had a lot of value. It's got 5,000 miles when I bought it. I've put in 100 miles on the car so far. Hopefully a uh, hundred good miles. A hundred good miles as you uh, will show on your video that we yeah, did, yeah. did a couple of turbo shoots. It's a blast. It's probably the funnest car I've ever had in my life. It's way faster than I've ever experienced. And I've had a GT3 RS, which is a 2019 Porsche GT3 RS. Same horsepower and this thing scares the hell out of me when I drive it when the turbo kicks in. Then I went on to making sure, you know, we got a Classic certified. And so this is, as you know, the book. And now the newest thing with Classic A is they have a, a passport, which then kind of proves that you've had your service updated. And, and we've got this uh, 2018, it was stamped. And so every two years you need to get it stamped. And so we got this certification. But what was more about this car is, I wanted to find out on the internet, what is all the things that I could have possibly had with the car? when the car first came out. Absolutely. And that would be, you know, imagine you were the guy that bought this car, you know, Wolf of Wall Street, 1990, <laughs> stock market just crashed, and you were the guy holding it. So this is the original poster that, you know, our generation would have on their walls. And this is the technical specifications. This came out, you know, to all the dealerships, and they would be giving this out. So that was one of the things I got. And then this beautiful signed um, Ferrari, Enzo Ferrari signature, and as you know, he, he designed this and he wanted something really, really special for the 40th anniversary. And, Absolutely. And he designed this in a number of months from start to finish. And it was space age technology. And look at this original photograph. That oh, came, that's beautiful. Like, huh? Black and white photos. These are real this photographs is, wow. that were brought with the car when you were this able is to lovely. purchase it. So stuff that you can never, ever repeat again. And of course, we have a, a special um, poster again in another book unopened untouched part of the collection and we also got a book that came out that year uh, you gotta have the book you gotta have the book you, <laughs> you gotta, gotta have, have the book car. so for me you know collecting cars is about all the little things that go it's about the history so this car is a two owner uh, US car um, and it's in perfect condition and it came with five piece Spadoni luggage um, and, and here it is with any Ferrari, the beauty is the motor, and this is one heck of a motor. So, Nicola Materazzi, he was the genius behind this. 
You know, he made the 288 GTO motor, which this was basically based on, and this was an evolution of it. And, you know, 2.9 liter, 478th in US spec horsepower, right? Yeah, fastest car in the world, carbon, Kevlar, construction, yeah. composite materials, uh, twin turbo, 2.9 liter, super fast, um, but it was very raw, right? No traction oh, yeah. control, Absolutely. no power steering, no radio, no power brakes. So it was just you and the car and nothing in between. So that's the difference between this car and the 959 Porsche, right? Very, very different cars similar era but overall this is just the more visceral car uh, than, than any other car you've ever felt and the engine being right behind your head and and being in a glass case for everyone to see right. the sound is unbelievable the original exhaust is but, right there but the tubi sounds so nice the tubi sounds so, so good yeah you gotta keep the tubi on it we have the original of course and you can tell how clean this car is from underneath because it's got 5,000 original miles it's untouched. Um, when you tires on it, then you kept them P0s. An F4 ha has to have a P0 on it. Yeah. yeah. And we have the original tires over there, which are, which are shot. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but this, is, this is the right tire. And, and each rim is uh, date stamped 1990 course, yeah. to make sure that the original rims are there. US spec car. And I like it because USA, USA run suspension components. And have you ever used the luggage? You're putting you it inside. You can't fit in. It's supposed to be for you and your girlfriend when you go for a picnic. <laughs> right. Just enough stuff to have her clothes in there for overnight. Uh, no, it's quite unique. Uh, of course, the Kevlar tub and carbon fiber uh, all around. Uh, this really was designed after a, a racing type of engine with a clamshell. Um, Usually these cars, you know, get driven really harsh. Obviously this car has not. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a two owner, uh, 5,000 mile original car. Um, and unbelievably uh, pristine. And when you drive this car, it's just Oh yeah, it's, it's quick. Let me tell you, it's quick. You know, there's something about a gated shifter. Every time you look at one, it just screams Ferrari to you, right? Yeah, it's a F1 open gated shift feeling to it. Dog leg. Dog leg. Yeah, first gear is back. And uh, push button rubber start and just the anti-glare mouse hair. Right. Uh, which is completely maintained, uh, original. Um, and, and there's definitely no airbag in this thing. But they gave you air conditioning. They gave you, in the, in the US spec air conditioning <laughs> that's right. came in. Uh, but that's about all you got. And you got these safety standards with these seat belts that were made with the US spec cars only that uh, that will just cut your head off when you yeah exactly yeah, yeah.